Okay, well, it's been a while, but I'm back, and we're back in Rogue Legacy 2. The full release is out, super exciting. So I've decided I'm just going to um, start over from scratch, because I think that's the best thing to do. There's been a lot of tweaking and tuning and nerfing and uh, enhancing and a lot of that. There's been a lot of changes. I encourage you to check out the patch notes. Um, and there's two new classes, which we won't unlock for a while yet, but, um, there's been a lot of changes. So I decided to be best if I just start over. So I'm going to, I'm going to start over. Uh, and we're just going to start a new legacy, which means we're going to go through the tutorial again. So, um, uh, I'm Crystal. Welcome. And, uh, I greatly love this game. It's super fun to play. Um, I have been playing it through early access. I'm very excited for the start now so of it being full released um so i have some tips for the boss fights except for the final boss fight because um that wasn't in the game until full release so um that'll be new and i haven't done any of the prime fights yet so i'm um, super excited about that which is all new game plus material once you cast off since that's hidden by my camera there's no turning back Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, I just watched the crudes too. I'm all about belt. All right, so this is my first character. You always start with the knight, um, and it teaches you how to how to do things. Chicken is how you heal, except for during events. Then there's other stuff. All right, we don't have we don't have dash yet. Got to remember that. Is these. We've managed to cross the waters undiscovered. A few guards patrolled the west walls, but we were able to remove them without raising a signal. At sundown, we'll start ascending the wall. Provisions should be waiting for us at the top. J. There's bits of lore and those kinds of things all over the place. There are other places to find lore as well, which I will show when we see them. Let me just dodge the knight's attack there. Oh, there's more lore up there. We're gonna go get it. We've been hunkered here for the past few days as Z and her spies prep the west wall. They've rigged the trap doors ahead so we can open them from below. Tonight, we make our move. There are heavier patrols around, but with all the fighting at the ridge, there should be no time for reinforcements. up there yeah and we just spin kick spin kick spin kick more lore the diving bell cables needed to pass the interior ramparts were waiting for us just like z promised but our scouts underestimated how much we'd need we're short a few hundred feet looks like we'll have to get creative j i guess these are diving bell cables Sure. Um, wrong button. We do aerial recovery. We're taking no damage because we're in the tutorial area. In uh, the full game, we would take damage. You know what? There's a secret here. You hear a thousand whispers but can't make out a voice. Most of the pages have been torn from the book. Only a solitary note remains. I wish I was a better person. I'm sorry. Ooh, I wonder what happened. And back up we go. I don't think I ever saw that before. Looks like I've underestimated Z's charisma again. Below me, I can see all the misfits that have joined our ranks. When did so many rebels join? From here, it seems like an endless sea. This was supposed to be a suicide mission meant only for a few. She's unknowingly rallied those souls to a lost cause, and my sins keep growing. Someone's pretty upset about their war cause. Money, money. Money's so important if you're wondering why I'm collecting it. Uh, need it for all of our upgrades. This is it, the end of the line. Below us, there's a trick wall which can only be opened with magic. Z said it could, should lead us straight to the estuaries. Tonight, we live and die with the crimes I've committed. J. All right. 
Gotta get me in it back. Might as well get it all. And then we fall. Whee! And now we're in the real beginning of the game, out of the tutorial level. Alright. Alright, can't can't learn anything from that. I'll continue reading lore as I Ooh. Ooh, Well, you know, six and six in one hand, half dozen in the other. What I'm saying is the yeah, girl's gonna get hit. You know, I really thought I was out of range of that one. Well, you know, I'm out of practice. It's fine. It's fine. Floor room. The letter is old, but carefully preserved. J, the rumors are true. The golden doors are real, and I found them. The doors will only open when all the estuaries have gathered together. I know it sounds crazy, but I have a plan to save everyone. But I can't do it by myself. I need your help and some people I can trust. Chicken. So blue projectiles go through walls and all others don't. Well, void ones do too, I guess. Where are you going there, buddy? Uh, and you may have noticed earlier, I didn't mention at the time, but the magic that breaks the walls is only on cracked walls, which we'll see sometimes. Ooh, we're about to get our, well, if I can do it, we're gonna get. Uh, all right, so this is our first uh, heirloom. I was like, what are these things called? They unlock for everyone in our account. This is a roguelike game, so um, it's gonna change every time. Our person's gonna change, our loadout's gonna change, everything's gonna change every time. But the heirlooms are permanent buffs. Boy, oh boy, look what we have here. And that, you know, I really want to do that like a Mickey Mouse. Boy, oh boy, look what we have here. Another soul has come to roost. You seeking my power, right? Well, let me tell you something, kiddo. I see all. Beyond lies, beyond ego, beyond time. I see the apex of emotions where truth is laid bare. This guy sounds pompous. And you know what I see when I look at you? I see a scared little soul with snot coming out of your nose and poop coming out of your butt. Kiddo, if you're this ugly on the outside, then what's it look like on the inside? Huh. Interesting. How many people you got in there, kiddo? Well, I don't know what game you're playing, but I won't stop you from taking my challenge. Might be fun. Word of advice, kiddo. How I have the power of empathy. Use it to pass the trials. Listen to those who have fallen before you. Learn from their failures and maybe, just maybe, you'll have a fighting chance. Yes, we'll do the trial because I want to get the heirlooms. The heirlooms are required to get to different places in the game. So it is necessary. Uh, all right. Lost again. Every path I've taken has been wrong. All right, Demetrius, calm down. Remember the lesson your elders taught you. He who gives you only two choices always hides a third. So the, tr the trick to this one, there's a choice here, obviously. There's a choice here. Neither of those is good. But the hidden choice is right in the middle. Been down here for hours, not sure what to do. Obstacles are just hidden opportunities. What did the elders mean? Could I use these spinning chains to my advantage? I'm too scared to try. Well, that's just sad. We're just, we're just gonna bounce off of them. Just gonna spin kick. But she's either a down attack or you can just uh, left bumper it. I prefer left bumper personally. This one's the challenge. Get a little chicken. Didn't even need it. There's a nightmare ahead. The elders said they are powerful nihilistic thoughts that have grown and festered. Violence begets violence. If I attack or cast a spell anywhere nearby, it will wake up and retaliate. Stay calm and they won't attack. So this... Um, if we attack in here, then it will 
make it angry and they'll send a thing at us. Right, but if we don't attack in here, it won't care. And of course, you know, we can dodge. Oh, didn't dodge that one. Oh, there's two there. <laughs> one can accomplish with kindness what one cannot by force. If I can reach the nightmare ahead of me, perhaps I can calm it down. This is teaching you that if you can touch them, then you can turn them off. And then you don't have to worry about their retaliation. Oh. This one, now yeah, right into it. Teaches you not that you don't need to attack, just kill them with the floor. Get right into him. I know the answers, and yet somehow I still messed it up. All, all parts of it. And I need to remember to use my fireball. God dang it. Completed the trial. I lost way more health than I should have because this is one of the early ones and it's not even hard. But whatever. Ha ha! Congrats, kiddo. You proved that you can listen and learn. That'll take you far. Remember, people may lie, but emotions always tell the truth. Oh, and one more thing, kiddo. Sometimes it pays to find an emotional connection with your enemy. I know who you'll be tussling with. You should know too. Enough chatter for today. Come on, kiddo. Receive my power of empathy and let's take this show on the road. So this, instead of hearing a bunch of voices, we can now listen to the memories, which are the little like blue dots that we've been seeing. So like if we were to take the teleporter back to the entrance, we can now listen to this. The golden doors won't open until all the estuaries have gathered together. This is all that lies between us and freedom. If I can open it, I can fix everything. I can save everyone. I'm gonna go back up there, continue our exploration. But we can see uh, in here, in our quest, we have these insights. Um, the resolved one are ones that we've completed, discovered are just ones we have. So we need to defeat the estuaries. Oh, apple room. Okay, so there's two sides. So we can take damage to increase max HP, or we can just restore HP. And since we're already missing so much, I'm just gonna um okay we're gonna go down here if i can make it work <clears throat> and right now i have no air dash um if you're wondering why i keep it seems like i keep falling on things i'm used to having a dash in the air which hopefully we will find here in a minute how to unlock that because i would love that Love killing things with a door. Seems like a real fuck you, you know? No dashing, lose no health. Dang it. Well, I sucked that up. will go right over my head. Knight is like one of my least favorite characters. It's just so stationary. Ooh, critical hit. Whoa. I almost jumped out right onto that person. 
Right on in that spear, maiden. That's taking forever. Ooh, he's being protected. They're being protected. Oh, by this leap. Oh no, death. Rough. By a, my, by a McRib, of all things to kill me, I would expect it to be a McDonald's McRib. That's why I don't eat there. All right, so let's pick up another one. Um, let's get this one. I like that spell, fungal spread. Start unlocking some of our castle. All right, we'll start with Universal, universal Health Stair. Welcome all. Your kingdom has granted its people access to healthcare services and amenities. Nice. Certain traits now give gold bonuses. Okay, and then we're going to unlock a ranger. And we're going to swap immediately. Um, I should have read that. That's my bad. And let's go ahead and unlock the blacksmith. What the blacksmith lacks in creativity, he makes up for in age. Gather blueprints for him, and he'll strain his tired bones in order to craft you the most exquisite armaments ever seen. You need to unlock them in order to find blueprints in the first place. And then the same for the enchantress, but with relics. Not relics. I don't remember. Runes. Runes. <clears throat> the pillow fort is open. Don't let her height fool you. The enchantress is smaller than she looks. I mean, she's sitting on an enormous stack of pillows. Find runes for her, and she can imbue you with magical power. Gain the ability to siphon life from your foes, redirect damage, and improve your magical repertoire. And now, we'll just go for a health increase, I think. And we're out of money. Thanks for helping build back my black shop, kid. I ain't got a lot to my name, but I promise you, your investment in this here black smithery will pay off. I can't make much because I ain't got any blueprints, but if you and me work together, boy, we can make some unimaginable things. And I mean that literally. Got me some of that and a Fantasia. Can't see no pictures up in this noggin. That's why I need those blueprints. So here's the deal. You give me blueprints and I'll charge you money to make them. It's a win-win. I win because I get free blueprints. And then I win again because I get a customer. Anyway, enough dilly-dally. Let me show you what I've got in the bag. And he's got... A leather helm. Oh, we picked up a blueprint somewhere? I don't remember picking that up. Maybe it's just you start with it. I don't know. Ooh, ducky, thank you so much for this extravagant tent. The car flowing through it is so overwhelming that it's making me dizzy. Just kidding. I saw the price tag. Talk about cheap. The only thing that's making me dizzy are the fumes from all the cleaning agents I had to use. Couldn't you get your girl anything better? Well, beggars can't be choosing. Choosers, so I've decided not to be poor anymore. Now let's talk about magic with a capital M for money. Because let me tell you, ducky, enchantments are not cheap. Find me some sweet runic stones and I can grant you powers you couldn't even dream of. Life stealing the life force from your enemies or being slightly magnetic. And that's it. That's all I've got. Until you find me those runic stones, ducky. Oh, see, she has some already. I should... Well, I don't think I have any red ether. Oh, I do have some. I don't have any money, though. Well, we'll work on that next time. So um, you'll notice that for things in the blacksmith shop, you need um, ore and money. And then for things in the runes, you need red ether and money. That's what the red stuff is. Um, all right, so let's talk to Karen. One must pay the toll. Give him your gold. I didn't have much anyway. So the ranger... I didn't talk much, much about the uh, the knight. I don't use the class ability, which is a shield. You do if you can get perfect block timers, then it does damage, and then you do critical hits afterwards, I believe. But I never remember to use the shield, so I just don't use it. The ranger, on the other hand, gets this platform, um, which will uh, will come back after it once it disappears, and seven seconds later. And while you're on the platform, you do poison damage. And our spell right now is uh, Spore Burst, which also is poison damage, which is great. So, you're next in line to sign the contract. Everything in the name of duty, I presume. Never stop to think of what you might be losing. Well, if you're looking for the treasure, you'll have to find the king's children first. Can't go through these doors otherwise. I've tried. 
He's a cheerful fellow. Whoa. I kind of want to be down here. Um, you'll also notice that uh, it was sharp. I mean, it did a, a sparkle. When it does a sparkle, it'll do a critical hit if you can fire it at the right moment. Now, there's a room down there and treasure chest, which means there are cracks to be found right here. Treasure money is so important, especially in the beginning, because you know you need to unlock stuff. Obviously, you need it for everything, and we want to keep unlocking things. Destroy all targets. Lose no health. Ooh, ooh, that was close. Oh, that was close again. Dang it! Too too much too much time to come out of that animation. Ruined it for myself. Ooh, the room of lights. Okay, this room has a secret. You see how it has an exclamation point on the map? Um, that is an indication that it has a secret. I know the secret of it, so I'll go ahead and show you after we check for some chicken. No, we end it though. All right, so right here, even though there, there were no cracks, there's a hole in the wall. And there's nothing in here, um, so I'm not gonna bother. But there is, I think, maybe some lore. Scribbles, lines, and question marks cover the page. Nothing intelligible, so not this one. Um, and that one just tells you that lore rooms won't drop items. And then this one, there's a guy here. Welcome traveler, not many people know of this spot. Not many should. Everyone deserves a place to be themselves, even an estuary. Lamech's memory. So Lamech is the first boss. He's the boss of the area we're currently in. The ceremony of return draws near and I have yet to act on this rebellion. If I invaded the village, I could crush them before it even started. But that would only be a temporary solution, and attacking now would reveal my hand. I can stop the rebellion, but I will never discover which of the estuaries are on their side. There's only one solution to this conundrum. I shall let the ceremony continue as planned. During the chaos, the traitor will reveal themselves to me. I know it. I have a secret set of guards ready to double the security of the gates at the last possible moment. The peasants will be decimated on the bridge. As for the rebels that ambush us during the ceremony, I will take care of that. No tricks, no treachery. I will show the people the true difference between a serf and a lord. I will cut them down one by one and forever crush their morale. This is the only solution. Let them come. So we never found the in or we haven't found the inside yet, but we found that. And that gives us 15% bonus damage against the estuary, which is great for the boss fight, as you can imagine. And now. Get us a little chicken, a little chicky chicky. Oh no! Dang it! Dang it! I wasn't fast enough. Ooh, boss room. I don't know how he does it, but I keep losing Lamech's trail. There's no other choice. If we want to leave this island, we'll have to enter his throne room. Only his royal retinue can open them, but I've seen how they do it. There are two torches beside the doors. Both torches must be lit with the strike of the foot to open the doors. The fire goes out fast, so we'll have to be quick. There must be a way to swiftly get from one side to the other. There is, but we don't know it yet. We need to get the air dash first. Um, this is the entrance to the next area, so we're not going to go up there because we are not ready for that yet. Let's see if... Um if we can find uh, the heirloom that we're looking for so we can do that. Ooh, blueprint! The leather weapon. A beautiful piece of weathered leather. Oh my gosh, right into it. 
Ooh, apple room. We're gonna take extra health and hope we find some chicken. Critical hit. Okay, no jumping. Oh, I can't do the air dash. I forgot that was required for that one. I, I would have had it though. You all saw it. Another blueprint, leather cape. All right, let's go. There's some more to go this way. Dang it. No, I just assumed that guy was gonna die. Foolish of me. A little bit of health back. Alright, we wanna get rid of that guy. He's an elite, and the TNT's icon means he will explode every so often. Nice, easy peasy. Shockingly took no damage in that room. Okay. And then, oh my gosh, didn't even see that. All right, we go down. Sad, I haven't got any fairy chests yet. I suck at fairy chest challenges, apparently. Locked in animation there. Gotta watch out for that. Ooh, three health, man. I don't know if we're gonna get a boss attempt in if I can't uh, get my shit together. All right, well, let's see. Give me some chicken. I'm gonna check. This is the start of the next zone, but there will be breakables, so I can see if there's any food. No. There's lore in here, though. Attention, Gregory! The bridge has fallen to the shift, just like everything else. And with sections of the bridge constantly switching places, the estuaries have deemed it too dangerous to ship supplies to the outlying villages. People won't make it to the next harvest if we don't help. Therefore, I want you to make a call for volunteers. We shall lead the shipments ourselves if we must. But in order to cross, you will need an heirloom contained in the gatehouse's tower. The entrance is directly above the gates to the citadel. The entrance is caved in, but perhaps you can find another way in from the floors above. And remember to keep this quiet. The estuaries won't approve of this. Sometimes I wonder if they want the people to starve, but that is not the issue here. Perhaps by doing this, we can begin to atone for our past. Um, I do know how to get that heirloom, but we can't actually get it yet, so I'm not going to... I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I 
And no food in there? Oof. I know! I missed him. All right. Well, I'm warming up. Oh yeah, no, I can't play a one HP character. That's not happening. Um, we can play this one. This means we can't tell how much HP I think that is what they have. All right, let's um, we'll be a good class. Let's do the barbarian. Welcome to Spin City. Don't let their bulky bodies and low IQ fool you. Barbarians are some of the most agile warriors in the kingdom. Armed with a powerful axe, barbarians are a whirling wheel of death and more death. Let's go ahead and switch to that. Um, we want to unlock the mastery ranks. The sage totem is a repository for knowledge. Every warrior is bound to him, allowing their wisdom to pass on to others. You now gain mastery XP with each class, gain enough XP to rank up, and earn permanent staff bonuses. So, like, each... Um, here, we'll see it in a second. And then... The training dummy, might as well get that. Lady Quinn loves everything about combat except causing pain. She became a living training dummy and now teaches everyone how to fight all day long. So that'll teach you about the characters. Um, how much do I have left? 784? I might be able to buy something. Yeah, can't see damage still. Ain't nothing quite like the smell of a forge and full bellow, kid. The coal, the melted iron, the sweat smells like memories. It also smells a little toxic, if I'm going to be honest. All right, so let's see what we want to buy. We want to probably get the leather weapon, which I can afford. It's going to increase our strength plus two, so we're going to hit a little harder. That'll give us a little more health or magic damage. Let's take more health if I can afford this. I can. Can't afford that one. Let's see if we can afford any of our runes. No, way too expensive. But now we have this little lady. <laughs> Hello? This is a nifty place you have here. M my name is Lady Quinn, and I'm excited to meet you. I I'm a living dummy, and I know everything about weapons and stuff. I love everything about them, so if you have any questions, j just ask. I could talk your butt off all, all about them. And who knows, m maybe you could learn a trick or two. And so sorry about the st stutter. It gets worse when I'm feeling shy. Okay, well, nice t talking to you. So yeah, you can practice your moves. Um, if I could see damage, it would show me how much I'm getting and how much I would get for a critical hit. And while you're jumping, it's a barbarian, you can do spins. Um, I think, uh, no, you can't do it all. I don't have air dash yet, so we won't have that. And then we have the shout, which freezes all projectiles and enemies. Behold! I am the Sage Totem, and you are now bound to me. All of your knowledge will be housed within my spirit wood. Nah, spirit wood? Nah. To gain mastery in one profession is to gain advantage in all. What we share in knowledge makes us strong. That is all. Why are you still here? My monologue is over. I am bad at idle banner. Mondays, am I right? Okay, so this shows you what bonuses we'll get as we master. So the knight will give equip weight bonuses, which will be important as we start to buy more armor and runes. Barbarian gives vitality, which is health. Ranger gives strength, which is damage, which is flat damage. And away we go. Yeah, we didn't get to spend that 234 gold to unlock the living safe to start saving it. All right, I'm hoping this will be a run I get actually do a boss run. Uh, I mean, a boss attempt, at least. But, you know, who knows? I gotta, I gotta find... I gotta find the other... Oh, that's neat. It shows XP on screen. Ah, see, updates. Um, I need to find the other heirloom to open the doors. Can't do it without that, so... Ouch. Did not think I was in range for that. Wish I could hit them through the floor. Okay. 
can't hit that guy through the wall. There's a lot of enemies in here. Timing is everything. As we've noticed, my timing isn't perfect. But, you know, right now it's pretty good. I like Barbarian. Barbarian's a strong class. Strong in strength and usefulness. Yeah, and I was like in her face. Collect this money. Let's not forget to collect our money. Lower room. How many years has it been since we first came down here? 50 years? A hundred? A thousand? My patience is at its end. These scholars, they jump from one fancy to the next like they're the bell of the ball, just singing and dancing and never finishing anything they've started. They have taken our gifts of life and have abused it. This lackadaisical behavior must be brought to an end. They must be punished. Only through pain can we drive discovery. I've brought this up before, but the others never agree with me. They never do. I'll bring it up once more at the next meeting, but this time it will be different. I can feel it. Everyone's patience has a limit. Something tells me the 30th time will be the charm. Man, imagine going to a meeting and talking about the same thing for 30 meetings in a row. I mean, I can't imagine it. I do have a job after all, but still. Oh, I was early. Early. I'm not gonna go in there. We're not definitely not ready for that. This is the one we've already been to. Oh, I forgot that guy was here. Another bearer of Aesop's tome. A word of caution, traveler. Be mindful of what you learn. The truth can be misleading. Oops. Um I don't wanna do that. Let's see what options we have for relics. Achilles shield or the boxing bell. Um the boxing bell could be good for the um, barbarian kind of spin to win thing because you're hitting over and over again and basically it racks up combos so they do more and more damage. That could be pretty good actually with the barbarian. Let's take that. If I'm only doing the stationary um, kind of hits then it will not be useful to us but I'll, I'll try and do more of the spins. That's a Seems like a fun combo. Not that I can see what combos we have anyway. Like, right, oh, I can see the combos. Well, theoretically, it's helping. Ooh. What's our spell? Oh, the thundercloud? That spell sucks. It's gonna be a slow fight, kids. I cannot believe I didn't take damage there. Oh, spikes. Spikes on the ceiling. All right, finally. Well, you know, I only took damage from the spikes. That's not too bad. I could stop. Can I can I stop getting hit? I don't know. Probably not. Good lord. Into it. Into it. I'm terrible. Oh. Oh, thank God food. Okay, well let's let's farm for some food real quick. All right, more food. Hey, a little more food, a little more money. We'll take it. And we're getting a 45% uh, bonus. So instead of just one, uh, instead of just 100, we got 145. And instead of just one, we'll get uh, like four, five. I don't know how that works. Oh, God. Honestly right into it okay that guy's being protected by someone on the other side of the room oh 
An armor shredder. That is fine because I don't have armor. Okay, he's dead. I can kill everyone else. Can't hit him through the wall. Bummer. What are you looking at? 61 HP? Not great. Not great. That's um maybe two hits. Ooh. Okay, one hit left. Man, I am determined to not be good at this today. Challenge room. We're not doing that. Okay. It's weird. Mm. Oh man, that's bait. spikes on the ceiling <laughs> oh i suck okay well one of these you know before i end today i'm gonna i'm gonna hopefully kill uh Lemek. oh this might be good because it'll charismatic means we can we'll get charged less at the shop so i can do some rune purchasing actually that's probably a good idea let's do that first He's got something else to say. I've been a blacksmith all my life, kid. Knew it'd be my passion the moment I first picked up a hammer. Some people feel bad for me, wondering how I could spend my whole life doing the same thing over and over. Truth is, I'm one of the lucky ones. So many people out there spend their whole life looking for purpose and never finding it. Just always looking, never committing. Kid, what I'm trying to say is, you buying something or what? Um, okay, let's go ahead and buy the Kate. We definitely want to buy Lifesteal. So now, um, become AB positive. Take everyone's blood. Be restore health for every enemy defeated, which is good. And then we also want Magnesis if we can afford it, which we can. Which will pull in stuff towards us, so we won't have to go chasing it down. And we can also unlock the wizard, so let's do that. Beards are mandatory. Masters of magic, mages have tapped into the primal elements that govern this world. But there are more rules than just harnessing that power to be considered a mage. Firstly, one must always tote the sickest of beards. And that's it. No more rules. Let's be a mage. And let's drop something in... The study hall. So this increases intelligence, which raises spell and talent damage and increases health from our chicken drops. So the ability here, you can see I'm going to siphon mana. I have two spells instead of just one. So on the mage, we have this wind wall, which pushes enemies back. And we also have this um, magma ball. And anytime we can hit on... The circle is going to be a critical hit, I think. That's right. And then all of this um, unlocks intelligence increase. So we've only leveled up one character so far because we hadn't unlocked it. All right, let's go. So we have a tiny bit more health. May just kind of a low health class, but... All right, my goal right now is to find the other heirloom room. Oof. 
Oof. Oh my god, right into it. How many times have I run into one of those bouncing things? Oh, you know what? There's a... There's a thing in the floor here. Uh, let's see, this way? This way. Money, money, money. Give me all your money. He died. Thought he died. God dang it. If I keep falling in all the traps, I mean, what do the enemies need to do? Nothing. Not a damn thing. You know, when I play Hades, I take a lot of trap damage also. Oh, it's been so long since I played Hades. Such a good game. again. Way to suck. Not worth. Oof. I just ate that damage. Ugh. timing. <sighs> Apparently I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not cut out for this today. That's all right. Maybe, okay. We can't play a pay up pass first. All right. Let's take the knights. We'll unlock the Valkyrie. Might as well continue. Girl, meet boy. Attack from afar, up high, or down low. With their long range and their ability to attack in any direction, Valkyries are considered the cheesiest of soldiers. Valkyries are fantastic. And they're special. So, you know, you hit that. You can hit down up pretty much all the cardinal directions. And then you have a special, which will remove... Uh, projectiles from the air and let's see what thing they unlock I'll quick wait again what's he got to say hey kid you heading out well be forged you leave don't forge get to buy something that's terrible like that bit of blacksmith humor right there jokes aside you should buy something you don't have anything for me to buy my dude and I've got 25 bucks going to the drink well going to Caron, I guess all right, this time for sure, I'm gonna be better. I promise. Oh yeah, our trait. Um, aerodynamic, your spin kick is replaced with the down strike, which is this slam to the ground side. Which is useful. See that? Remove projectiles. Apparently I need that. Also gives you mana back. Um, let's go 
down. Oh my gosh. I hit my head on the ceiling and that killed everything there. Ooh. That's to a new area, the dry lake, which is like the last area of the game before the boss. And this goes to the second area, so back this way we go. Looking for an heirloom. Anybody? Anybody? I'm gonna go this way. I'm just asking to hit my head on those spikes. You know? Ooh. I thought that was a spear lady. A spear lady. Oh my gosh. Chicken on the ground again. Mm, no, wasn't worth. Lost all of the health that I got. the projectiles, y'all. I guess I'm going this way because that's where I walked. Oh, feeling healthy, feeling strong, getting more chicken than I need. Let's go over here. Patience is a virtue. fast enough. If I had had the uh, Barbarian Shout, could have done that easily. Oof. Alright, took one hit. Oh. Excellent. Poison Cloud's a new one. Okay, let's go this way. Challenge room. Lose no health. We can do this. Nope, we can't do this. Why did I say something? I'm never gonna open a bear chest. Well, maybe not today. Oh god. I hate this room. It's a, tra it's a trap. It's a trap! Oh, I'm so upset with myself. Well, let's pick up some more lore. The black roots keep growing. They're everywhere now. The guards continuously cut them down, but they keep growing back. I swear the land is reacting to our pain. The roots, the more people we lose, the thicker the black roots seem to grow. Sorry, I've been missing our meetings at the Golden Doors. The estuaries demand the impossible. They raise our work hours and they tax us incessantly, and when people complain, they are arrested. So many friends are gone, Jay. You have no idea what it's like over here. The kingdom has become a powder keg, just waiting to explode, and it's our job to light it. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance, Jay. We can do something. We could save everyone. Oh, well, you have to imagine, you know, that's the hopes of most revolutionaries. At least I do. Oh, God. Missed my jump that I was doing. Well, I missed my plant. Oh, God, I forgot I don't have... Air dash. Oh my gosh. Unnecessary. God. Damn it! Could I suck anymore? I don't know and I don't want to find out. I want to do this challenge, but also I kind of, I kind of don't because I keep doing stupid shit like that. You know? But I do have this poison cloud. That's pretty good. I'm gonna do it. It's too late. I'm in. 
Oh, they added enemies to this? Like this wasn't already hard? My god. Oh god. Okay, well it didn't used to be like that. Hey! Stay out of there! Dog. Used to be just the big thing, whatever it was called, I forgot already. Um, now they've added the small ones too. Unfortunate. All right, well, let's pick a healthy character. Barbarians have a good amount of health. Let's dump, just dump stuff into health. And we're gonna buy the living safe. Welcome to offshore banking. Before being transmogrified, mogrified, mogrified, the living safe hid money for the rich to keep from the poor. Now that he's on your side, he doesn't seem so bad. Percentage of the gold to give to Caron is held by the living safe instead, which is good. And we're gonna get the gym, increased strength and weapon damage. Excellent. What do we have, 20? No, nobody has anything new. Let me see. Psst, psst. Hey, Frindo, over here. It's me, your buddy, the living safe. You're here because you want the stuff, right? Because boy, oh, I got the stuff. I'm talking tax loopholes, Frindo. And oh boy, I've got loops on loops on fruits on loops. I'm an accountant. And with a bit of wizardry, I could take gold from even death himself. That's the secret of making money, friendo. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you keep. And we're keeping it all. Or at least a small percentage of it. Cool. You have returned. All right. Well, let's hope I can at least, you know, do decently this time. It's going, it's going rather badly for someone who's played this game several times. Although, you know, I have played several games since then, but still. I swear I know what I'm doing. It's just, it's hard to start over when you lose your abilities and stuff. It's, it's very difficult. And if I was a better gamer, I wouldn't, you know, say anything about it. Oh. What's my spell? Oh, the, the, the cloud. I don't like that one. It's only, like, good for things that are basically right above you or on top of you. If I could just find the heirloom room, that would be great. It's so great. There's literally no point to going down there. Oh god. Did not see that coming. Oh, which direction should we go? Let's go this way. Oh, really? Bad timing. I am the queen of bad timing. Ooh. Thought I killed her. Oof. Animation did not finish. All right, well, this was a dead end. <sighs> I promise I used to be better at this game. You can see some of my other videos if you want on YouTube. way I guess. Twofer. Oh yeah, food. Oh, animation takes too long. I almost got hit again doing the same thing. She never learns. Blueprint. Leather chest. Sounds like an insult. You got a leathery chest. I, mean, I suppose it would be if you said it like that. Uh, let's close this loop.
Okay. Continuing this way. Okay. Oh, they're on different. Oof, bad timing again. I'll, re I'll remember the timing of things at some point. You can almost count on it. It won't, it may not be the day, but I'll do it. Oh, walked off, wasn't looking. Oh god. I keep forgetting I don't have air dash. The struggle is real. just ate so much damage in here. I was like, you know what? I just, I'm so hungry for it. Give me your damage, please. Oh good, an apple room, we take that. Whoa. Uh, I think we just, um, I think we just sneak out of here. And by that I mean we, we take damage and we still leave. <laughs> <laughs> we lose all the damage we got from that. I mean, uh, health we got from the uh, apple. I've been gathering more and more people, Jay. People like us. People who are sick of living down here. There's an heirloom in the Citadel that grants people amazing powers. Powers that let you dash through the air, just like you're flying. I've been sneaking in recruits to obtain this power, but only a few are strong enough to survive the heirloom's challenge. If you help train them, there could be so many more, Jay. You could be the difference. Something big is happening. The people have had enough, and their anger is spilling onto the streets. A war is brewing. I just hope you're with us when it happens. That's what I've been talking about. The air dash. Now, if only we could find it. If only. Can I get some chicken, please? All right, well, this room, so we've already completed the uh, secret. We can just use it to gain things. The scholar weapon, simple outfit worn by acolytes in the study. No chicken. Unfortunate. Let's go up first. I am an estuary, hand chosen by our king. We are the pinnacle of royalty, and by the king's decree, all others stand below us. Yet here I sit, rotting in the halls after my fellow estuaries banished me from the table. Me, of all people, from the table. Me, from the table. Me. If I... I think we should kill some of the scholars. Then I should be given my allotted hour to explain why. It's not my fault the others don't spend their full hour speaking their mind. And who cares if I've brought up the same argument for the last 30 meetings? I am an estuary. I can bring it up as many times as I want. They think they can throw me out like I am somehow lesser. Well, no, I'm not below them. They are below me. Every day they putter away at their civic duties like natty little nyeh, nyeh, nyeh rats. They read their stupid little flip, flip, flip books. They train their weak little herp derp soldiers and they grow their ugly little eggplants. I don't know what sound an eggplant makes, but I am above those mundanities. My role is too important to be hindered by so-called duties. I am the bastion that guards the gates. The last, nay, only required line of defense against any would-be attackers. This piece places them in a dull stupor. They need me. One day this piece will end. And when the day comes, I will show them who is truly superior. Man, can a girl get some chicken around here, yo? It's worth killing all the enemies now because I get a health back at least. Singular health back. Oh my gosh, what is this room? Not too early again. Oh god.
Well, I took an unnecessary amount of damage once again there. Okay, we're back to the next zone. Still haven't found the thing I'm looking for, but maybe I can get some health back. Maybe? A little bit. All right, let's take the teleporter back because it's a bit, there's only one path it looked like. It's a bit closer to this area. Let's see. Uh, yeah, only one path. Just want to find the stupid heirloom. Oh my gosh, I almost ran right into that. All right, we're here again. Can we do it this time? Patience is the way. God dang it. Uh, animation locks us. Just ruined my life. Oh, God. From freaking out of nowhere. I mean, from out of somewhere, but still. Oh, my gosh. Am I down to 55 health? This is just treasure again. Oh, at least it was just traps. I mean, I need, I need the money, don't get me wrong, but I, I really, I just want to find this heirloom. And one day I want to get a fairy chest, lose no health again. Nope. Nope, I didn't do the big jump. I can't do an air dash, can't get that without taking damage, and I don't have the damage to give. Oh yeah, this will help me up. Ananke of the shawl. Oh! Who has stumbled into my abode? Sweet child, hast thou lost thine way? I am an Anke of the shawl. I am an heirloom, an item of immeasurable power, and I can grant my strength to those deemed worthy. Those who seek me are hardened, powerful warriors. But dear child, thou art soft and pudgy. Very pudgy. Rude. Inside me lies the power of momentum. Conquer my challenge, my power thou shalt claim. But I warn thee, child, the dangers aren't real and the consequences severe. Uh, yes, regain all health and mana to go inside. And whatever I keep in here, whatever we leave with, we keep, which is great. And now we can dash in the air. Oh my god. Can, can I not hit a trap for like once in my friggin' life? deeply upsetting. doesn't matter because I will leave with more health than I had. So either way, it'll do that. Spin kicking resets your dashes, which is why these things are everywhere. jump first. 
Jump first. Go outside. Yes. Still, way more health than I had coming in. I'm going to call that a win. And now we can do a boss attempt if I find the boss room. Congratulations, sweet child. Thou hast proven thine self worthy. Now cl come and claim thine inheritance, the power of momentum, and let our souls find together. Hell yeah. New roads traveled. All right. And now, uh, as we saw with the other one, these lower rooms turn into relic rooms, which is great for us. Boss room. Collect this money. And we spin cake to open the doors. Now we can do boss attempt. I'm gonna quickly check to see if I can get a little health back. Probably gonna lose health. Can get a little bit more money. Ooh, get a relic to help, maybe? <sighs> the soul tether won't help us because there's no ads in the fight, but this one might. Critical chance increased by 10%. Well, that was worth, worth, worth. And what do we have here? Gained a very small amount of HP back. We could swap out for the those gauntlets, but I don't want to, so I'm not gonna. Also gonna leave that room alone. Okay. So yeah, I mean we've been to every room at least, even if I haven't um, cleared them all, like the. Deeply upsetting. Took damage for no reason. Okay. Let's do it. This is the first boss. Mr. Lemes. Lamek. Ugh. Hello, sir. First spell sword. Seems a little busted. And of course, I immediately take damage. Oh, I forgot about that one. We just sit here and get damaged. Stay back from that. We use our shout. It's jumping. That was so close. Oof. Ooh, he changed directions on me. I am inside him. Half health. That's an explodey. Ooh, ouch. Not doing great on health. Oof. All right, well, half health on the first try. Not too bad. I'll take it. We're going to level up. We got quite a bit of gold. I don't remember what that does. Let's take this mage. All right, let's, um, let's jump into some health. Building castles is tough. Labor costs rise with each upgrade, making each person slice. Oh yeah, I, I know that. I have, oh God, I forgot. I hate this one. So, um, Diva, uh, so I get a spotlight, which, or everyone gets a spotlight, so enemies will also get a spotlight. It's very annoying. And then the marble statue, landing creates a small shockwave that destroys mid-sized projectiles and deals 75% mana. Oh, nice. 
Do you know what words and smithing have in common? They get used, tempered, and rebuilt over the years, eventually becoming something new. That armor you have, one day it will be scrapped, melted, and reforged. Maybe a hundred years from now, that sword will be a really big spoon. Words go through the same transformative process. They absorb new meanings as they are used in common parlance and often become something entirely different. True. I don't know why I'm acting like I knew this. I'm just spitting out what the totem told me. So we could unlock the scholar. Oh, we could buy the leather chest. Oh, we can't wear it. Can I upgrade weights? Yes. Let's dump some points into that and see if we can wear it now. Yes. All right, what do we have for spells? Fireball and stupid electric thing. Well, we're gonna use the fireball. This explosive jump thing is hilarious. I love it. Well, we have more health than we would have, but it's still not great. Already taking unnecessary damage? Why yes, yes I am. How did you know? Such a diva. I just killed that with my, uh, Floor stompies. That's amazing. Whoa, chicken galore. Room is clear. Oops, because we got the roses. Should have left some of that chicken, huh? Oh god, this explodey jump is so distracting. Okay, defeat all enemies is the call. Oof. I did a rune challenge. <laughs> it was not done well, but I did do it. All right, folded rune. And some red ether. Might as well go down here. I'm already down. Whoa. Oof. All right, I can just remove these. My hands won't stop shaking. My skin is full of prickles and my heart is bump, bump, bumping. Oh, I feel alive again. A man, nay a rat, nay a man rat came crawling to me the other day with information in return for an official pardon and some trifling gifts. He revealed everything he knew about a secret rebellion. He has given me everything I need to know. Letters, transcripts, memos, and more. I cannot comprehend how something this big slipped past our spies, but none of that matters. All that matters is that a war is coming, and I'm the only estuary that knows of it. My chance to show my worth has finally arrived. I must stay calm and read these documents carefully. No one else can know of this. I will not let anyone take my glory away. And that will be his downfall. Man, am I right? The ego. Lose no health. Wish I could see. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's not happening. Uh, I haven't unlocked that ability anyway, actually. I'll get that when I go get the one at the bridge in the entrance to Axis Moonbee. Oh, this is the war room. Every day our numbers grow larger, Jay. Word of a rebellion is spreading among the people. One of our new recruits is a soldier. Said he trained under you, that you were the best. He told me that all battles are fought on two fronts, a physical one and an emotional one, and how knowledge could be the deciding factor in a fight. There's another heirloom in the Citadel. I spoke with it, and it claimed to offer the power of empathy. It also said my butt smelly, so I've been avoiding it ever since. I never thought that power was worth the risk, but after hearing what the recruit said, and yeah, we got it already. That's how you would have learned about it if you didn't find it first. Man, I love this, like, explodey stomp thing that I'm doing. This is great. Ooh. Oof, did not get out of the way of that time. Nailed it. What am I doing on health? Not, you know, not great, but I'm not dead, so I'll take it. Everybody's burning. Everybody's burning. Oh, come on. Did not think that was going to hit me. Everybody's dead. Anything in here? No. Where am I going? I guess I'll check this way. I do appreciate the roses and the, and the cheering because it lets me know when I can't see that everyone in this room is dead. I accidentally left. Did not intend to do that. Oof. Into the spikes in the ceiling. Wish I could see. Which won't be a problem really in the fight if I can find him. I'm a goner. Again. <laughs> okay. Can I get some chicken, please? Or as my son calls it, chimkin? Oh, yeah, we take that. Soup pot from the chef, which we haven't unlocked yet, and is probably my favorite class that I've used so far. So instead of having the second spell, we'll have a heal, which is great. And they're replenished by finding chicken. Uh, okay, let's go. Didn't kill everything in here. Need to remember that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? Why have I 
not already use these? Just, just use them. Hopefully I'll find some chicken. I'm just gonna siphon off this guy. Something over there is shooting fireballs at me. I don't think I hit anything. Oh, is it you? Ooh. Oof. God dang it. Thank you, Stompy Feet. Oh, God. <laughs> Scary. Ooh, that one's good. Oh, we'll get that one right now. This one will heal us when we open chests. Uh, we get that one now, and then we come over here. And we open this chest. And get some of our mana back. And we got some of our health back. Not a, not a ton, because we don't have a ton of int, but... God, I wish I could see. Oh. <sighs> I want to get another boss attempt in. Well, we intelligence raked up, which will help with that, that, that in the future. A knight with a frying pan? And the knockout punch? Let's take that. That sounds like a fun combo. I don't know that I can use it or that. Well, I guess I can. What does this do? Increase gold gain. Stat, uh, giving gold grant stat bonuses. Let's do XP up. And intelligence. Oh man, the frying pan is freaking great. So let's see what we got. Contrarian. Weapon and talent is randomized. Uh, the knockout punch won't be super great because we can't do combos, but that's okay. It's still better than nothing. So the great thing about the frying pan is that it applies burn and also reflects projectiles which is what the chef normally uses. You know, I'm not just a blacksmith. I was trained in the crafting of large scale items like armor, plows, and swords, but I learned the skills of a white smith too. Rings, fine tools, and etchings. Smithing isn't it's just a job to me, it's my blood. Everything I make, I put the utmost care into. So stop complaining about my prices. Uh, we got 10 gold, we can't afford to buy anything. Oh, we did pick up a rune, I forgot. Uh, well, next time, folded rune, increase armor. Well, we don't even have armor. Who cares? Psst, friendo, down here. It's me, the living safe. Didn't you realize I was alive, did you? I mean, I already talked to you. That's cool. I can be pretty quiet at times. Just wondering how all your investments are doing. They doing good? Making a nice return? <laughs> I live for this stuff, friendo. Nothing like seeing numbers go up, am I right? Some people are thrill seekers. Others find joy in charity. But me, show me a number increasing and ding, ding, ding. I'm there, friendo. I am there. What time is it? 10, almost 7, Well, you know, I really want to kill a mech, so let's keep trying until I need to go to bed for work in the morning. Oh, he doesn't... They, did they remove the burn? Because that kind of sucks. Or is it only on the chef, maybe? Hmm. I guess we'll find out when we unlock the chef. Like I said, a lot of um, a lot of things were changed. Just look at this. Boom! Get out of here. Love it. Reflect those projectiles. Oops, let one hit me. 
unnecessary. Um, let's go this way first. Oh, oh, we're doing a boss attempt. We're doing a boss attempt. Let's go. Almost full health. No better time. We can reflect those um, fireballs back at him now. Give him some burn. Uh, I didn't think that was going to hit me, to be honest. Why? I don't know. That's a different question. Out of his way. Get out of the way. Let him charge. Yeah, buddy. Oof. Facing the wrong way. Oof. Oof. All right, half health. This is feeling good. Feeling good. I've got good health. Ate all of that for no reason. And that for also no reason. really flying. Just let him do his thing. Yeah, buddy! Hell yeah! <sighs> I should have had him way earlier. I've definitely done him first attempt in, in other games, but it's fine. No, yeah, I was warming up. Warming up. Yeah. Oh, achievement. All right. Hey, man. Thank you for putting Estuary Lamech to rest. Regardless of what he's done, he deserved a warrior's death. I guess. Throat's kind of hurting now. All these attempts at doing voices that I can't do. <laughs> I'm no voice actor. Uh, secret chest. Hell yeah. Focal rune. Now we just uh, get stuff and eventually make our way to Axis Moondy. If we live that long. I don't know why I did that. Uh, we go this way. We go that way. Whoa. I'm all, God dang it. There's no reason for it. I just can't stop myself. gonna ignore you guys because I can't afford tickets. And then I didn't ignore these ones. Don't ask. I don't know. I got nothing. tried to reflect that back at him. I promise I was not trying to just eat more damage. But you know I accomplished my goal for the day so it's whatever. I'm not even going to feel bad about it. 
Not even a little bit. Let's go this way. Can't believe I didn't take damage. There it is. <laughs> as soon as I said it. Awesome. Well, let's uh let's level up. Oh, cutscene. Enter the golden doors. This is a new cutscene. Get king demands it. Or is the king a tree? What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Never seen the final boss. Uh, let's take a, ooh, a ranger with Spelunker. Mm, Spelunker's good. It shows you all the chests. And then we, let's keep the ranger. Hello, Ducky. Glad to see you again. Don't be surprised that I know it's you. We can all tell. Same you, different body. Live long enough and you'll start seeing the pass, pass the shell too. All right, so we want this magical crit chance, and then we got this one increases armor block, which we don't care so much about. We can't use that one. Maybe we don't waste time on that yet. Let's get uh, increased gold gain. Let's get uh, health at the boss doors. Get armor. And then we've got 250 left. I don't remember how much it needed, so. Well, we can't wear it anyway. And it costs too much. So. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, that's right. We can't. Uh, we can't go there yet. Oh, wait, we can because, uh, oh, hold on. Let's see. Scar challenges and you. Scores are cumulative, so tackle the same scar with different classes to raise your score. All gear, relics, and traits are reset within scar challenges. Find empathic connections within the kingdom to lower the difficulty. What's up, sleepy sleepy? Mmm, wasn't sleeping. Oh, it's just you. Hello, traveler. Glad you could finally make it. Welcome to the Drift House, our cozy little world between worlds. Name's Garrus, and I'm the caretaker of souls. I believe you've already had the pleasure of meeting my brother, Karen. Tall, dark, not much of a talker. Well, please don't take any offense from his silent treatment. He's young and going through that rebellious phase. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, me, on the other hand, I love to talk. Love it. I'm all about understanding the human condition. Can't get enough of it. I'm also a bit narcoleptic, so before the sweet embrace of sleep takes me away, let's talk shop. This is the Drift House, home of the Chthonic Gods. The house is an anchor, a point of land between our drifting worlds. It exists both nowhere and everywhere. All of us Chthonic beings have our own duties to uphold. Some ferry the dead, others tend to the souls. You get the deal. It's a lot of work, but I love it. And while we may be gods, we're not omnipotent. Even gods occasionally need the help of mortals, you know? And that's where you come in. You help me, you help you. If you're interested, then let's stop the chit chat and get down to work. Um, I'm not gonna do this yet. Uh, I'm just gonna talk to them. The Carries. Hello, Traveler. Welcome to the Soul Shop. Welcome to the attic. My name is Carries, and the rebunctious one over here is my little sister, also named Carries. I'm the real Carries. Our location is not ideal, but our wares are of the highest caliber. What we offer is only for the most discerning of customers. No window shopping. If you wish to peruse our catalog, then please note we only trade in souls. No ore, no ether, and especially none of that mundane gold our brother loves so much. As to why souls taste the spiciest. Rather than material goods, our shop sells the most valuable item of all, the power of potential. You'll still need to put in some elbow grease to make yourself shine, but as they say, power without perseverance is no power at all. No one says that. Um, these are good. Uh, I don't need to buy these yet. I will because there's no other reason to use the soul currency except for this as far as I know. Um, so this just increases. Uh, you should put one level into this right away. I like getting some, some X this early. So it's basically, we can find higher level equipment and higher level runes. We'll just buy that. And then these will be more useful later, so. Nice. Well, 
I'm going to call it. Um, thank you for joining me. I'll be playing more. Um, I uh, hopefully have got back into the groove of things a little bit, having gotten some of the heirloom power back. Um, uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, please check out, uh, you know, hang around. I'll, I'll Twitch stream when I can. And like I said, I have a regular job and a kid, so I stream when I can. And then um, I also have a YouTube channel where I put up all the bots. So thanks for joining. See you next time.